Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Mark. And we are having an adventure in the Pyrenees! We've got a Tell Park um, Auto Caravanners car park booked here for the next two nights and I pre-booked it with easy parking so you literally just drive up to the barrier and it lets you in. Um, we've just tried that and it won't let us in so we think we might be a little bit too early so yeah we're just gonna have something to eat and then go back in a minute. We were very excited to be coming to Girona in our motorhome. It's a city that we fell in love with in 2013 whilst on a family holiday. It's a great place for cycling and we've come here together with friends and with family. This Tell Park Auto Caravanners car park was in the heart of the city and about a 15 minute walk into the old town. favorite restaurant day in Heron and one of the main reasons it's our favorite restaurant is Angria de Prosecco. <laughs> Cheers babe! We've both chosen a ravioli and we've both got a ribiata sauce. <laughs> Hello! Hola! We've just left the Italian. <laughs> we just left the Italian and I had dessert with limoncello and Fernando didn't have anything. No. She even she even no. left a glass of Prosecco behind. Too much. Too much alcohol. <laughs> He's not used to drinking to be fair. Oh, no. It's just the nightlife in Girona is just incredible. It really is. You know? Well they, not not nightclub in life, but it's no, 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 no 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 the nightlife is just I mean we've just We've just finished our meal, it's 10 o'clock at night and there are people queuing up to go in for their meals. Yeah. But they do have a sleep in the afternoon, don't they? Siesta. I tried sleeping at work, I got a sack. <laughs> no. <laughs> the thing that we really, really love about Girona are all the bridges. There are just so many bridges. And the cathedral looks beautiful. So we're just getting back to the air parking. Auto caravan has car park. To use the ticket to get in. There we go. We're in. This is the home for the night. A car park in the middle of Girona. Hopefully it won't be too noisy. <laughs> we'll see. This is the Plaza de Independencia which is apartments and loads of restaurants and shops and it gets really really busy in the evening doesn't it? Yeah. Very busy, it was very busy last night. 
What do you know about the Plaza de Independence? It is the largest square in Girona. Right. I'm standing on one of the many bridges <laughs> <laughs> in Girona and I was just going to tell you about the uh, the rivers. There's there's two rivers. One's called the Onya and the other one's called the Ter. Yeah. And if you can see, they stretch through the centre, through the old town. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Even more spectacular at night when the lights are on. And But, you know, we're here at the, the quietest time of the day. 8 o'clock on a Sunday morning and you can hear down the bells. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah. Loads of bakeries selling loads of yummy, yummy, yummy cakes. These are open now. No, they're not, are they? Yeah. Really? They're open for coffee. Oh, oh they yeah. are. a Roman Catholic church also known as the Cathedral of St Mary of Girona. distance you can see the Pyrenees mountains. Girona is located halfway between these and the Costa Brava on the Spanish coast. We've got a stretch of the wall to ourselves. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> walking along here. Refugee in Teliani, number 38. So this was when they had the civil war in Girona. Back in, was it 1936 to 39? Yeah. Spanish civil war. Yeah. The Spanish attacking the uh, city of Girona, Catalonia, I think. And these air raid shelters, shelters I guess, were built and there's quite a few of them scattered across the country. This is a new cafe restaurant cycle one we've not come across before. It's quite interesting. Nice cakes, nice smelling food.
This is Girona's La Rambla, so pretty much the same as Barcelona's La Rambla. It's just a pedestrianised street full of cafes and shops, ice cream shops, lots of apartments to rent out there, isn't there, babe? Again, really, really busy in the evenings. But very nice and quiet this morning. <laughs> Hi, so I hope you've enjoyed our little quick tour of Girona. There's loads to do here. It's a really, really lovely place. Lots of museums and galleries and you can go for lots of walks. But the main reason we come here is... For the cycling. We, we keep coming back, to be honest. Right, we've, how many times have you been here? Six or seven times. Yeah, there's just so many cycling shops. A lot of professional riders live here and training camps take place here. You know, there's just a lot of cycling history full stop. The cycling is just incredible, really. And it's, although it is hot, it's not overly hot being in the northeast side of Spain. The climate seems to be just right. Most cyclists go out early morning, to be fair, just, just before it starts to warm up. Yeah. That's the best time. Well, not that we get out of bed that early, of course. No. <laughs> but the other thing that's really good about right here is it's not too far to cycle to the coast. So you can go and over to like Tossa de Mar and Loretta Mar. Loretta Mar and Palamas and places like that. But you can also go up into the mountains, so there's climbing. Go up to uh, St. Hilares and up to a lot where the volcanic region is, Girona, uh, which is basically the foothills of the Pyrenees, really. Yeah. So, uh, Lots of cycling. Yep. And we really love it. And we are now leaving Girona and we are heading to our next destination. We were heading to the Monasterio de Saint Pere de Rodes. This monastery became an important place of pilgrimage. The famous Camino de Santiago, which runs through Catalonia, begins in this monument. comes. So this is La Porte de la Selva. Porta de la Selva. Let's go and see if we can get a drink. Get a drink in Porto de la Silva. What's happened? Coming outside. I'm trying to take part. 
your legs pumping. Your leg pumper. Pump, de pump, de pump. No way. No electric. Goes around the corner, shall we? So you go over that way. There's a ferry coming in. Hey, that's right, isn't it? cycle today from the campsite where we're staying in Garagua 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 cycle to Villawega and then we took a climb right out the top to St. Père de Rodez so this was like a four mile windy climb and it was really really hot really hot but a nice descent where we turned into El Port de la Selva uh, where we had a drink and then we came back out of there and made our way to Cadaca's we were gonna go to the Cap de Cruz, but that was going to add another 10 miles or so onto the route. So we went to Cadacus and then back out towards Roses and then followed this road here, straight road, back to the campsite. Altogether, that was about 47 miles, was it? Was, today. was it? 47. And this campsite is really close to France so lots of French people having their weekend away very nice very nice bike ride okay ready one two three <laughs> This is our camping spot last night. We moved from Girona, which is just over an hour down the road, to camping Via Emperada so that we could go for a cycle nearer to um, Port de la Selva e Cadaques. We had a very nice day, although briefly. Um, very quiet. I think it's the best night's sleep we've had so far. We've had rubbish sleep for the last few nights, very noisy, it's been a Spanish bank holiday. Um, so lots of people celebrating um, until the early hours, should I say. So um, yeah, but we're heading back into the Spanish Pyrenees now. Mm -hmm. 